Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use visibility inside of dynamic blocks to create a block that will change depending on your needs. Shall we get started? In our earlier lessons we showed you how to create a dynamic block with an alignment parameter and also adding in wipeouts so that it automatically broke the lines. You may need to refer to, an, to the earlier lessons before attempting this lesson. In this lesson, we will show you how to create a visibility parameter which will allow you to change this gate valve into a ball valve or a globe valve. Now, I'm going to edit the dynamic block that I already have created. So, as normal, double click on the valve there, press OK, and it'll open in the dynamic block editor. As you can see, in my block editor ribbon bar here, the visibility is greyed out. To allow me to use this, I need to put on a visibility parameter. It is important where you put this visibility parameter. You do not want to put it anywhere near your insertion point, because that will cause problems when trying to insert blocks. So I'm going to place it just above the block here. When I've done this, as you can see, my visibility panel becomes active. So I'm going to create a visibility state. You already have one, which is the default. So I'm going to rename this one, and we'll call this one gate valve. I'm going to create a new one, and call this one ball valve. So ball valve needs a, a circle in the middle. So I'll just go to my home tab, draw myself a circle from there. And I'm going to save that visibility state. So now I'm, I can create a new one for the globe valve. So new globe valve. So all I will do with this is hatch this area. So going to hatch, I'll use a solid hatch and hatch these areas. Because we have the wipeouts in, you may need to bring, using draw order, bring the hatch to the front. So in my block editor, I have gate valve, ball valve and globe valve. So I can close the block editor then, make sure I save the changes, and as you can see, there's my visibility parameter above there, so I can change that to a ball valve, or change it to a globe valve. Now because we edited the ones we did earlier, we still have the alignment parameter and the wipeouts in there. So if I go into insert, and insert my block, I'm going to insert my valve, it will insert the gate valve. It will always insert the first visibility state that you created. But I can change this now to a ball valve, or I can change this one to a globe valve. Easy stages, but very, very productive. Some very easy steps there to create a very powerful block. In our next lesson, we will show you how to add the dynamic block you've created onto a tool palette for easy use. I hope to see you in the next lesson. Bye.